One of the next biggest things in the cloud um, internet space is the lines are blurring between the consumer web experience and the B2B experience. And their expectations of the workplace software, their expectations of customer support software that they're using, let's say, in their job, is one that is easy to use, that has almost a consumer out experience. Um, so the lines, so the expectations that they have from what they do at work is what they do in their in their personal use of software. So what you're seeing is we're building software that almost feels like a, like a consumer app. That you don't feel, you know, that you're actually not in a workspace, so you must have something that's clunky and that is, you know, tough to even, you know, get your way around. And being able to develop apps and software that is easy to use in a consumer out manner uh, without compromising, by the way, the complexity of the business process that enterprise must automate is, is probably the biggest thing that we are still on a journey. The next big thing in the cloud and mobile space is going to be the impact it has on acquiring talent in the future world. Talent is distributed, people expect to work from home and mobile, and that there have to be organization strategies in place to support that. Cloud is going to enable this. It's going to enable the interconnection of everything to anything, and it's going to help users want to be with organizations. I believe the next big thing in the cloud space is going to be the Internet of Things. It's going to be pervasive, and we're already feeling it in our everyday lives, but connected, interconnected devices and having people charge on, be charged on demand for what they use is going to be expected in the next five to 10 years. Internet of Things actually creates a, a very interesting uh, interaction between uh, people, companies, and, well, uh, uh, things uh, that communicate together. It could be uh, the utility company uh, talking with you through an application on the mobile side, uh, discussing the money that you owe them, but tomorrow, another participant, which is going to be the meter, in your home participating in that exact discussion. I'll give an example. Universities. During the summer, the infrastructure the universities bought is not being used. So what happens if you can take all that infrastructure for all those science labs and those universities and bring it back to the cloud and resell it at a more affordable cost? They can monetize it and the users and the business can utilize it and everyone will benefit. So it would be like a, a new Airbnb to cloud, and that's what we're trying to, to build, which is we're launching in the next uh, four or five months. The next big thing is really about getting more control. I think we found that uh, a lot of customers, and a lot of vendors, and a lot of companies using cloud technology have, have gone at a brute force way. They've done um, some a first pass of their applications. It's been pretty successful, but actually now it's that next stage. It's that maturing of internet technology. And actually with the maturity, you need to start being uh, much more uh, controlled about what you deploy to the cloud, how you use cloud technology, how you put new features into your applications, and actually putting much more control around, uh, around that technology.